Hey, Chad Carter here with ChadCarter.net and LearnHollowLens.com and DevGame101.com. And today I'm actually talking to you about mixed reality headsets. So these mixed reality headsets are from two different vendors. One's Acer and the other's HP. And these are the developer editions of these headsets. So things could change by the time they come out as consumer products uh, later this year is when they're expected to hit sometime for the holiday. Uh, so just be aware of that if you're watching this um, and looking at the consumer versions of these, it could be it could be a lot different. But for the developer editions, that's what this review is about, because I have both the Acer and the HP. And we're going to see what the similarities are and what the differences are. So let's jump into it. All right, here we are. The comparison video between the Acer and the HP mixed reality headsets. Now these headsets is what Microsoft are calling mixed reality headsets. You can think of them as VR headsets, much like the Oculus or the HTC Vive, except they have inside out tracking. So unlike the Vive and the Oculus that has external components that scans the room, this scans the room from the cameras that are mounted on the front. So it uses the same technology as the HoloLens for that inside out tracking. So here's the Acer on the scales. That weighs in right between 410 and 411 grams. Okay. And here's the HP on the scales. It's heavier, coming in at over 100 grams more. At 513 to 514 grams. The HP is heavier than the Acer. Now the Acer headset, it's wire, it's connected, and it's not detachable at all. So the wire is not detachable. For the HP, the wire is detachable. The end of the cable, the link is identical between the Acer and the HP. So at the end from where it splits, where it splits and actually goes into the computer, the length of this is identical between the HP and the Acer. So you can see the length is identical between those two from there. Now let's see how the overall length compares. Now both headsets are all the way at the end of these little TV trays and when I extend the cable all the way out, so the HP is the cable on the left, and the Acer is the cable on the right. And you can see they're almost the same. The one, the HP has a few inches, but not very many, two or three inches. So not enough to make a big difference. Now, neither the Acer nor the HP has any kind of adjustable lenses. Okay, so you cannot adjust these other than adjusting the headset on your head to make sure your eyes are centered in those lenses. So they're identical there. Now we know the Acer is lighter, but subjectively, the one that feels more comfortable to wear for me is the HP. And that's because of the padding. So the HP has a lot more padding on the front and the back than the Acer. The Acer doesn't have really any padding. It has this little rubbery piece here. So it's a it's somewhat uh, rubbery and somewhat soft. It's not padding, uh, but you know, it keeps you from your the back of your head being directly right against the plastic. And it has a little bit of padding up here on the front, but nowhere near as much as the HP. And when I was using them both in my, uh, when I was gaming, I was gaming with Forza with the Acer the first time I set it up and gaming with this Shadow Tactics on the HP using the Xbox. And I was able to, I sat there a lot longer with the HP on my head than the Acer. Now the Acer wasn't uncomfortable. I'm not trying to suggest it's uncomfortable. It's just that the HP was actually more comfortable. Okay. So for all practical purposes so far, 
I would consider these equal. With the HP being a little bit more comfortable, it's heavier, but it's more comfortable. So like that extra, the extra padding and things of that nature offset the weight. The Acer is much lighter, uh, but doesn't quite have as much padding. Of course, in theory, maybe you don't need as much padding because it is lighter. From a price point, currently for these developer editions, the Acer is $300 and the HP is $330. So there's a $30 price difference between these two. And now here's why I like the HP over the Acer. If you take a look at how this adjusts, so you can see the mechanism for how this adjusts. It's almost like a belt, okay? So you pull on the things and then you can slide this back and forth and it sort of clicks, but it's not, not the best. It, take, it takes a little bit to use to and it's a little bit difficult uh, to put on and off your head. And this is where the HP really shines because it's similar to how the hall lens is from the standpoint of you just start turning the wheel and it expands out for you to be able to put your head in and then you can start closing it up to where it's comfortable for you. So it's a whole lot easier to take on and off the HP than it is the Acer. And for that reason alone, I like the HP better. Now both the Acer and the HP allow you to hook a headphone with a mic input. And that on the Acer is actually right in the corner. So right there in the corner is where you plug in your headphones. Now for the HP, they put this in a weird spot. They actually put it on the bottom. And so that's where you plug in your headphone on the HP. Now the branding we see here, Acer Windows 10 Mixed Reality Development Edition. The branding here, HP, Windows Mixed Reality, Windows Mixed Reality. 1440 squared spatial computing. And I'll actually talk about the technical specifications are identical on these two devices. So from a technical perspective, they both do a display of 1440 by 1440 and they work identically. So they're truly running the exact same hardware specs so everything from what you would see on the screen is identical between the two. So there's no difference that I've been able to tell and nothing in the spec sheets that show any difference between these two devices. Hopefully you enjoyed that comparison. I actually have a little bonus section that's coming right after me talking here. And that's about the Hall lens. I'm going to compare the weight of the Hall lens with the weight of the Acer with the weight of the HP. Now you've already seen the weight in grams between the uh, Acer and the HP. And now this time I'm going to show the grams of the Hall lens as well as the actual pounds and ounces for us Americans. Okay. Now since I didn't actually do a scientific comparison, for how the Acer headset compared weight-wise to the Holland, I just kind of lifted them in my hands. I did want to show this. That's right at 580 grams. So it's well over 100 grams heavier than the Acer and only about 70 grams heavier than the HP. And that's pretty astonishing to think that the HoloLens, which is a full computer, is basically the very same weight as a headset that you attach to the computer. The Acer is 13 and 58 ounces. And the HP is one pound, two and one eighth ounces. And for the HoloLens, one pound, four and a half ounces. I hope you have a fantastic week. I'll see you in the next video.